go get your bear. But I'll show them in a minute. Girl, the glory that is all her is out. Oh Lord, it's a lot of hair, y'all. And I, I feel like my hair, is she getting thicker? I don't know what it is. That's my hair grows out and then down, if that makes sense, and then it hangs. Doing good. This is the week before my surgery. I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload oh, this before my surgery or that? afterwards. I'll show them in just a second. Let me just tell them this baby and then I'll show them sit right here next to mommy, okay? Go get your book too. Where's your book? <laughs> okay, open it up and start looking at the pictures. Yeah, I'll show this what he has. Um, today I made a follow-up appointment just to see my NP because of the coughing. And I caused I called my plastic surgeon because look, y'all, I was nervous that I was coughing so much. I'm gonna cough those stitches open. But Glory to God, the coughing has I'm almost gone down to hardly nothing. I'm coughing every other hour when before, I couldn't even get through four or five words without coughing. Um, so the NP told me today that to continue with the nebulizer treatments for another three days, but she couldn't hear any wheezing. She thinks I'm good. And I have a follow up with my pulmonary specialist, not until the 30th of May, so. Um, everything sounds good, long sounds, sounds clear, and I'm good to go for surgery. But you cannot tell me, this is why I want to come on camera and say this, you cannot tell me that there is no such thing as a God. Cause I'm telling her, say, I'm telling the NP, I said, okay, well you're gonna have to contact the surgeon and give him the green light because he wants to, he may wanna hold off if he thinks I'm really sick. So she said, well, who, who's your surgeon? I said, it's Travis Holocomb. She said, Travis? I said, yeah, Dr. Holocomb. She said, I know him. I used to work with him. She said, you are in very good hands. She gave me a, a brief background on the guy and um, just, you know, just praising him. She said, You're, you really are in good hands. And so we sat there and we talked for a good 20, 30 minutes. And so that, I wasn't nervous at all, but that really sealed the deal for me that I picked the, I the, a great surgeon and everything's show okay. Me. So let me show you guys. So JB apparently has been doing so. I am so proud of him, y'all. And you know, children are definitely, <laughs> children are definitely little blessings. Hold on, baby. <laughs> he told me today, he said, oh girl, I almost started crying. I had to, I had to hold back those gangster tears. He said, what did you say, baby? He said, I am, he said, you make me so happy. I was like, oh Lord, don't make me cry. So he's been doing so good, they gave him for the week. <laughs> show him, show them what it is, baby. It's Super Bear. It super Bear. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. And look. Don't show them everything, baby. Hold on, let me see if they can I see got it. this. So it's basically, a, girl, this is I a guy. Uh, um, bootleg. Everything that I got. This here. is a bootleg build a bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is bootleg build a bear. <laughs> baby, the Batman, <laughs> the Batman mask is all turned around, baby. So the whole concept is to take the bear and um, go on a little adventure. Can we change him? And we take pictures. You're gonna change it? Well, baby, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put that on cam. That can be part of your YouTube, your YouTube channel, okay? All right, I'll do that for you. So anyway, y'all. Oh, you change your catching. <coughs> you can, absolutely, baby. So yes, y'all, that made me feel so good knowing that, you know, and this is NP I've been going to for two years. She's the one that was helping me with <laughs> my anxiety last year during the wedding. Um, gave me some referrals. She was telling me, not referrals, gave me some resources to look up online. She was seeing how she believes that anyone can be healed by the grace of God. Cause I was dealing with some other medical issues that I, I don't really care to share on here. But she said, you know, I absolutely believe in healing power. And that to hear a medical person say that is amazing. I want to show you real quick. I'm making a scar cream for my breast assist. <laughs> I'm taking some of JB's, cause this stuff goes a long way. Taking some of his shea butter mix that I made literally three months ago. Cause it, I normally use just pure coconut oil on him and I use this depending on what his skin looks like. I have some sweet almond oil here, some essential oil, tea tree oil. I'm not using this. This is gonna be what I'm gonna use directly when it really itches. And then I have some vitamin E oil. And the shea butter has some other oils too. Um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna be using um, on my scars to help them to heal. Hey y'all, so we were out this afternoon at 
a kindergarten um jb school had like a kindergarten almost pto get to know everyone meeting um <clears throat> it's a lot to take in girl it's a lot to take in starting at a school new school in general it's a big boy school so um it is a charter school they do wear uniforms and so i'm glad i wasn't gonna look at that folder they gave you a folder full of information i wasn't even gonna look at that until yesterday but i am glad i peeked at it tonight because it looks like i have to do a separate <coughs> registration for summer camp <coughs> y'all coughing is back up so i'm gonna have to get back on the nebulizer soon but anyway just another thing i have to do a few days before the dang on surgery so i need to go ahead and take care of that and what baby there's something in his bathroom okay jb um i'll come get it out but the good thing is that we saw at least half a dozen kids and parents that he knows they're either from his old school new school or just people that we know in the community so let me go see what this child something So I made a couple of comments in response to uh, some of Funky Naniwa's latest videos. Not even a few. I think I've made less than three comments on his videos. And some of his, you know, subscribers are responding back. And people, a couple of people in particular are like, well, didn't you say that this is his truth basically? on the transsexual video you know he, he said that he has a video that's titled i used to be afraid of trans um but now basically since he's talking about black women you have a problem that's not what i have a problem with your delivery means everything and i responded to one young lady it's not what you say is how you say it case in point conscious tv did a very similar video or he discussed his points on similar topic and I was able to receive it because it wasn't coming from a place of bitterness and he wasn't being disrespectful in his video. Um, he was able to articulate without basically offending an entire group of people. So I'm very open, you guys. I rarely do I disagree or agree with people. I receive the information, I take it, um, and that's it, okay? But... Fuck it, Aniva's delivery has been way the hell off in these last few videos. And I seriously, honestly, I started side eyeing him when he made a video a couple of weeks ago in regards to whether or not his, if, if he was profiled by a Hispanic at a bank. And I was side eyeing thinking, okay, yes, I like that you're going this route, kind of like you, Shelly, at Hutchinson. I like that you're going down this route, but what are your intentions really? I don't want to say he's not really interested. I think he is interested in some of these deeper discussions. But overall, I think he's doing some of it for it's clickbait. Clickbait, excuse me, for money. Um, and it is what it is. It's his platform. He has every right to do it. Just like we don't have to watch the, we don't have to watch his videos. We can keep it, keep it pushing. And look, I'm the type of person, I do not go back and forth with people. I will say what I have to say, usually in three sentences or less. And if people respond, you know, I may respond to one or two. My block game is strong, baby. I will block you and keep it pushing. I got other shit to do. I got to decondition. I got to cook. I got to get my titties done. I don't have time. I don't have time. So, yeah. Can y'all see me? You really can't see me, girl. I'm in the closet picking up what I'm going to wear to the natural hair. Look, D, I didn't have any intentions going to the natural hair show this year because I'm supposed to... I'm, I, I'm relaxing a few days before my surgery. So she been posting, D, my girlfriend from Nubian Glam Rock, that, you know, <coughs> she's been posting stuff for months. And I just took the time to look at what she posted. And mind you, I haven't even spoken to her about the event, right? And so she posted a couple of pictures of me saying, you know, this is one of our local, local naturals. Make sure you spot her at the natural hair event. I'm like, girl. You didn't check with me? I, I wasn't sure if I was going or not. But now since she posted that, I went ahead and purchased a ticket. I'm going, hell, I guess I'm going to go. Um, so, uh, I'm going to wear this cute little floral shirt. And my makeup is going to be ridiculously... Sorry, y'all. My makeup is going to be ridiculously cute. But look, y'all. Look. There is nothing for free in this world. 
nothing is ever free. So I'm sitting up at my desk. This is Thursday, which is like uh, almost Friday for me. And Fridays, I typically do half a day of work. I'm just keeping it real. I get up early and I'm done with work by noon on Friday. So I'm wrapping up stuff today, right? Why do I get, I've been getting messages all day from the hospital I'm getting my surgery. Girl, why did I get an email, excuse me, a text message that says, make sure you bring your payment of $470. I'm like, what? Call here for information. So I call and the woman immediately picks up. She's like, yes, you need to make sure that you bring your payment. I said, what payment? She's like, well, you haven't, you have Cigna and it shows here that you haven't met your deductible, y'all. That completely slipped my mind. Cause let me tell you something yesterday not yesterday last year i was a mess physically i was stressed out and we all know that stress can affect you physically i was sick a lot i mean i was in in and out of the doctors i was in and out of the chiropractor whatever i met my deductible like that i met my deductible by march so i haven't even came close to meeting my deductible this year i've been relatively healthy so when she said that, I was like almost offended. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Y'all, so these are my freezer meals I've been making. This is tomato soup, black bean soup, squash soup. I got some vegetable broth, homemade vegetable broth, squash soup. This is, <laughs> this is squash squash soup. This right here is chunky squash soup. I have barbecue chicken here, and then I have orange chicken there. So yes, yummy, yummy, yummy. Give me your bear. Look, I gotta carry the dang on bear. Lord have mercy. Looking at some hair products. Here we go with some hair products. We have Camille Rose, <sighs> Shea Moisture. Uh, nothing's on sale. Oh, they have that huge thing. That thing is twenty dollars. They allocate naturals. That's pretty big, though. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I'm not getting it for nineteen dollars. That could stay up there. This is good to know they have so my sally's has a lot of products and then um i can come here for camille rose which i have already reviewed a lot of her products y'all it's hot let me turn on all right so we are on our way to the um hair show this is the first year that jb's going with me <laughs> This is my fifth year going, um, <clears throat> no, sixth year going. And so yeah, this is JB's first time going with me. Excited, yeah. JB? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like my um, hair. This is the Meal Organics review is coming, I guess in about two or three more weeks. My hair did really, really good. Keep in mind, my hair is old. Like this is two weeks old. And um, yeah, this is my makeup girl. I did not do a makeup look on this because I had to get really, in on the uh mirror go, to go, get this go, done. Go. I know, let me get the directions. I think I know where I think this is in a restaurant. Let's go see how to miss our legs. Let's go tomorrow. I wonder what y'all are going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm 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 going to do. This is beautiful. That's that's collar necklace. Oh, this is beautiful. Then we have 
Hold it like this. Hold it like this. See how it's steady? Yeah. See how it's steady? And then you move your hand like that. See that? Now it can be steady. Now we have the stage right here. This is where everybody's gonna, where the people right up here are the raffle people who come up here. Nothing, JB. So we're out of the event, y'all. I only came here up here for an hour. Um, cause I knew she had it. I knew where this place is at. It's right next to a Caribbean restaurant, which I don't know why I did this to myself. I ordered some food. I ordered roasted corn, jerk chicken. My first time having authentic jerk chicken and, um, $17. Y'all saw the food. It looked good, didn't it? The jerk chicken was okay. It could have been a lot warmer. And I could tell, look, I'm a cook. Y'all know I'm a cook. I could tell that it was chicken that they had cooked probably in batches a couple of days ago. It wasn't fresh. So it had potential. If, it's, if, if it was fresh, I know it would have been the bomb. But typically, mom and pop places like this, they do that. That's the one who worked there. And I saw a fake baby that, that was holding. Yeah, someone was holding a fake baby, a reborn, which is another story. So, hey, I'm here to show my support. Wow. So cool. It, it takes it with it. One, two, three. Awesome. We're back. <laughs> Y'all, I am tired. Look, I don't know about you. I'm one of those type of people, when I get home, I do stuff around the house. I don't immediately sit down, unfortunately. Sorry, Jamie. I don't immediately sit down. So, I've been up, I don't even know what time it is. I've been up cleaning. I wanted to get everything straightened up as possible because we are gonna go to church tomorrow, oh, which I, I'm struggling with this because I need to set my hair and send my mini twists, which could take between four to five hours to do. And I need to wash my hair. So we're looking at, baby, stop it washing my hair, deep conditioning. We're looking at about about six hours of doing my hair. And that's it, you guys. I put up my camera equipment back here because I typically do record one hair video a week and release it, schedule it out in advance. JV, don't do that. All right, you guys. So I have to look, come back here because this child is acting crazy. So anyway. It's real. I put up all my equipment, my camera equipment, my backdrops, everything, which I need to get that together, girl. I see how it's been looking in the videos lately. Um, put everything up because this is done. I'm done. I'm done. I have literally about four more videos to edit, upload, and girl, he act like someone's killing him because I locked him out while I'm recording this real quick. Um, get to the point, girl. Yeah, I won't have to really record anything until July because I have video, I have content scheduled for the next seven or eight weeks. So yeah, we're good. So y'all, I will be back vlogging. If I can come back at the end of June, I will. If not, it will be July. I'm sorry for the camera. It'll be July. So y'all stick with me. There will be hair related videos coming, full videos coming, but just know that I probably won't be able to respond to everyone. Like every comment because your girl is resting. All right, you guys take care. Bye.